They might not know it, but these Labrador puppies are engaged in a serious research project on 3D modeling. In Hollywood, capturing motion often depends on sensors attached to an actor. This method is less effective with puppies because, well, they really like to chew on everything. So what we're trying to do is later is to develop a huge array of library of maybe 100 different dogs of different dog sizes and then their movements will be calibrated right to a skeleton very similar to the Xbox where the movements are moving uh, almost accurately so we can quickly pull out analytical information from these dog movements. This isn't the first time that Nitro, Moose and Bell have spent time on the Virginia Tech campus. These puppies are actually belong to um, our clients. They, the Therio Genealogy Service helped breed the mom and dad and deliver these puppies, so they actually uh, saw them from day one. These are hokey puppies. <laughs> they are. <laughs> By calibrating three depth map cameras to an object whose dimensions have been previously measured, the research team is able to capture an accurate 3D image of the dogs in motion. And what we've developed is a pipeline where we're creating three different video streams from this depth map and then creating a really exotic point cloud of these dogs moving in sequence. What this gives us is a better uh, fluid movement of the dogs. We don't have to worry about the dog's skin moving around and so forth. The catalog will be put to a different sort of use than the one found in video game systems. Well, this is really exciting because it allows us to watch the motions, the actual motion of that dog. Um, previous technology would let us look at a moving skeleton that might be a composite of several dogs, but that doesn't help us identify problems in that individual dog. And working dogs tend to get arthritis, they tend to get back problems, lower back problems, knee problems, and our hope is that we can, by using this technology, we can watch how they move, uh, say what the angle of their hips are when they stand up on their hind legs. Um, and that'll let us, uh, again, apply it to adult working dogs that might be having problems and hopefully help prevent problems in the long run.